Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and today I'm doing a discussion over halves. The word game for the ruthless. Uh, this was a, a game that I happened to just randomly see. I think it was advertised probably on Facebook or some other site that I happened to see and backed on Kickstarter because it was super cheap. And if you're fans of, you know, the channel, it's probably been said somewhere in some way at some point that I really like word games. I, I just, except Scrabble. I don't like Scrabble. I like the word games in this genre. So it's something that I kind of will always keep an eye out for really unique ones. And uh, this game, whenever it was finally delivered, I think it came in like a sack of bubble wrap. I think it was like in the worst shape of, of storage possible. It, it comes in just a tuck box uh, with a paper divider and two expansions, punk expansion and a not safe for work expansion, all also in tuck boxes so they clearly don't fit in this. Um, and I was thinking, oh wow, like this game is probably going to suck. And I gotta say, it actually doesn't. I, I actually think Halves is uh, is quite the fun game. Uh, this is one of those games that you kind of take to a bar, hookah lounge, uh, just some kind of social gathering, and you can just pull this out and play um, without it being obstructing or you know terrain or terrain. Uh, don't even know how that word got out. And, I'm now good at word games, apparently. But, so what this game is, is you have a deck of halves cards. And they are color-coded with red, orange, or blue. Or yellow, I guess. And they have varying points on them, positive or negative. And you're trying to be the one with the most points. The colors indicate the type of category that you're doing. So what you do is, if you have a hand of cards... You have, you know, run is blue, that's negative two points, and then you have snooker, that is yellow, and that's plus four points. The blue means whenever you're given a timer, there's like a timer for the entire round, and you decide which halves of the card you want to do. Uh, blue means you, and then you have to give a clue for people to guess. So... Blue means rhymes with. So the clue you give has to rhyme with the word that's on the card. Um, yellow is category, means you have to give a category that the word on the card falls for. And then red is perfect pairs, which means that the word on the card pairs with another word. Um, and it's actually kind of interesting because the clues you're giving... If they're negative points, whoever guesses the word will get the card. So if they're negative, you want people to guess so you give an easier clue uh, to give to them. And then if it's positive points and no one gets it, then you keep it. So it's like you want to give harder clues, but sometimes people will just uh, still guess it. I'll get to the ruthless part of this game in a sec, but like for example... Um, the blue card on this one, or the blue word, is run. It's negative two points, so the uh, I'm like, okay. And you tell everyone the category. It's rhymes with, and my clue is fun. And then whoever you're playing with, you know, one person will guess. The bun, no. Hun, no. Run, got it. Here's your card. Two, negative two points, you suck. Uh, that's part of the ruthlessness. I'm already going to say it. I don't know why they went a ruthless route. This game doesn't need it at all um but it's there if you want to be very vicious and cutthroat with your family um the perfect pair which is the red is kind of the weirdest one to come up with but i've also found it to be one of the more uh challenging to give a clue for but uh so the the word on here is ice so you can say ice cream ice skate Ice ring, uh, polar ice, maybe, uh, if that's like a pair. But you could say cream, and perfect pair cream. And then people could, be, could say coffee, or chances are someone's going to guess ice. <laughs> uh, like ice cream, and then you give them the card, they're going to gain two points. And then the categories, um, 
is uh, you say categories, and you could be like the the category is charity, and it, this it, this might not even be that that good of a clue with that I'm trying to give off the top of my head, but. You could say charity, and then people could try and start naming charities, or they might eventually guess it, but you don't really want them to at the same time. It has to be a legit clue, but in this case, it would be foundation. You could also go with, like, construction, like, concrete foundation or something, but that was the first one that came to mind. Uh, and then at the end of a certain number of rounds, everyone adds up their points, whoever has the most points wins. It's just so simple of a game, and also done in a way, like, it feels like it could be a drinking game, but it's not. Like, one of my favorite uh, drinking games is, like, whenever you're playing King's Cup and you draw, I think it's, like, Jack or Queen, and it's categories, and it's, like, colors. I like that that's thrown in here. I, I like the fact that it's just different ways to utilize words rhyming, and then the perfect pairs, and then the categories. Uh, all done in just, like, a really simple game that... My favorite part about word games is the fact that they're going to be different depending on who you're playing with. The clues that everyone's going to give are going to be different, and eventually, if you play with the same people, though, the clues you give, people will start, you know, catching on to the ways that you personally give clues, and that's what I really like. Um, now, I mentioned it's a word game for the Ruthless. There's a fourth color on here, and it is the black color. That is a trap card. Uh, some of these cards in the deck have traps on them, like for example, swap. Swap any banked card with any other banked card on the table. So if you have a negative five card and someone has a plus four card, you play swap and you can swap those. That's what's in here. Spin. Uh, spin a card in a bank on the table to change its value. So if someone had a plus four up at the top, like if they had the found, they got the foundation. That's plus four. You play spin. It rotates. Now it's a negative two. I personally have never found a reason to ever play those. They're in the game again. I feel like that the designers, you know, there's those families that just like really like to be dicks to each other. Um, it's usually around Thanksgiving, and everyone gets upset. It's in the game. If you want to play that way then there you go. It could be a ha-ha, you thought you were going to win, but I played this trap card. Um, but I will say you don't have to. Like, you can just outright... Because I like the fact that at least the traps aren't the whole card. So, for example, on the top of this, Wash is a, a perfect pair card. That's a plus four. You can, and, But on the other side, it's the spin. So you could just outright ignore the the trap and just do the the top card uh they could have done it where it's like yeah we're really gonna go in on the cutthroat ruthless nature of this game and uh the whole card is black it's the it's all traps um and that would just be kind of annoying so very quick discussion here i think halves is a lot of fun they do have the, like i mentioned the two expansions which are punk i don't even know how they got punk uh, and not safe for work, um, which are just things like dick and perfect pairs, uh, necklace, pearl, probably on there. Um, like just categories, big, just, just things like that, where it's like, it's obviously just not safe for work cards. Punk is a little weird of just a category, but it's, it's an expansion. So tiny box. Uh, a tiny word game, but different from some that I've played. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give halves a 7. I think it's a very good, or not very good, I think it's a good um, good little, little card game. And small enough to kind of carry around. And if you're going out, you know, to a kind of public, more boisterous area, you can just pack this and be like, hey, let's just play this quick word game. Um, other than that, let me know what you think of the game in the comments below. Other than that, other than that, other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.
Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.